Hello, this is Turbo the Roby from the nerdsocietyde.com. Here to give you the basics of Trigger Editor and Warcraft Free World Editor. Um, I'm just going to talk about how to make a unit spawn, making the unit move from a region to another, and attack everything in its way. Afterwards, upgrading the y levels of the unit and creating game text time. Timed, out of time, actually. Uh, pretty basic, um, but it's uh, important to learn anyway. Uh, it's like the basics of all triggers, really. Um, yeah, let's get started, really. Uh, so what I want you to do is to create two regions. One there, and one there. So spawning region, yeah, and moving region really. <laughs> Go to unit palette, and if you have a like a custom hero, just click here, custom, and just choose your custom hero. I don't have any custom hero. I'm just gonna use paladin, really original, <laughs> and uh, just go to trigger editor and delete that guy. It's just a melee stuff of the match. You see like a game trainer hero scroll of town and set starting resources and starting units and blah blah. blah. That's just going to ruin your map because it spawns, you know, the town center and <laughs> peasants and, you know, uh, we don't need that. Just create a new trigger. Go into a unit spawn. Oops. So. And all we want to do is we're going to get like a mini hero siege. So every seconds of game time, it will spawn a unit. And that's... And that's what we're going to do now. Just go to unit and no, that was <laughs> sorry. Time periodic events. Let's say fifteen seconds. And no condition. We don't need any condition for this. Just an action, and that will be click U, and the first that pops up, which is create unit facing angle. Click OK. Uh, or click on the <laughs> whatever, <laughs> and create one footman for player blue. Of course, if you have a custom unit, you can go here, change custom. I don't have any custom unit. I'm just gonna use footman, and center of region. That region. Just click on it, and uh, so every 15 seconds of game time, a footman will spawn at. For player blue, we'll spawn at region 000. zero, zero. S just create another one. That's going to be unit. Whoops. Move. So, and uh, what? Well, uh, when the unit spawns, it will enter the region automatically. So we can just use this trigger or event. Unit enters region. Which region? Is that region uh, and condition? Yes, we need a condition. Um, the condition will be um, a, a player comparison, um, owner of this, and which unit? It's the entering unit. Okay, so entering owner of entering unit equals to player blue. Then the unit will move. We need this because we don't want our own units to move, just, you know, the enemies. So, just now we're going to create, uh, no, no, sorry, <laughs> making the unit move. And that's pretty simple, just go to unit issue order targeting a point. And order a unit, which unit is, of course, the entering unit. And move to... Uh, if you have like a tower defense, you will normally use move to. Um, but I'm going to have like it's going to attack me, so just attack attack move to. Of course, if you're using <laughs> if you're going to create a tower defense, move to because you don't want him to attack your towers. So attack move to. And uh, now we're going to create like. Uh, level 2 version. So what this does now is just simply creating units after every 15 s seconds of game time <laughs> um, at a particular region 
and making it move. But, of course, you can ma make like several levels. And that's what we are going to do. Just copy that. Click there. Copy. And uh, paste. And just call this oops, level 2. Every 15 seconds we give now that's okay. Just keep that value and just change to rifleman. Of course, if you have a custom level 2 unit, you can of course you can use that. And just take the entirety, click on that and take entirety on off. So now this won't trigger is there, it won't do anything until we turn it on. And that is what we're going to do just right now. Turn it on unit spawn level two and let's say now um let's say you want want the level level two to come at let's say fifty seconds of game time you go to time time ellipse ellipse sorry and click let's say I'm just gonna take forty so now after forty seconds of game time no condition um, click action, turn off. Uh, we're going to turn off the unit spawn that will be like level one, uh, because we don't want the um, of course if you want that uh, to uh, the units you know level one and level two to spawn at the same time. Um, if you don't want that, you have to turn off the previous level. So turn off that and turn. G, turn on this trigger. Nope. Turn on unit spawn level two. So after forty seconds of game time, that will happen. Or sorry, <laughs> it will turn on level two and turn off level one. So now you have like a very basic hero siege. Uh, very simple, and uh, of course you can expand this. You can create Terran and uh, it won't ruin anything at all. Just uh, this is the basics of you know triggers and stuff like that. And go to the nerdsite.com uh, if you uh, want to see high risk movies or just want to check out the website. Of course, if you're not watching on the website already, already sorry. Uh, but that's the basics of Trigger Editor. And uh, thank you for watching and. Uh, Hope you learned something. Goodbye.